Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd sit down and just do a little update for you guys um, on my boobies and how everything is going. I'll definitely do another one of these um, probably like a week post-op maybe four weeks post-op and another one maybe like six weeks post-op. I don't know. Let me know if you guys like these videos. But today I am three days post-op and I went in to the surgery thinking the absolute worst. I'd watched so many videos on YouTube. Um, I went in just thinking like, you know, the recovery was going to be absolutely awful. And although it wasn't great, um, I definitely wouldn't say it was like terrible in my personal experience. So my aftermath of getting a boob job definitely isn't like a horror story. I think mine was probably like the most easy breezy recovery that you probably really heard of. Literally at two days post-op, I was like able to wash my hair, um, shave my armpits, shave my legs, like do all the bits and bobs. My hands are fine to like go behind my head and stretch. I can reach my arms all the way up. I can grab things out of the cupboard. Um, yeah, I'm feeling really, really good. So I feel like I've had a really good um, surgery experience. So pretty much the day I got my surgery done, um, I went home and I was pretty well numb. I couldn't really feel anything at all. I was, all my boobs were super numb. My stomach was actually numb as well, like down into my stomach. Um, I didn't really feel any pain. Day two, I woke up. It's mainly in the mornings I found when I woke up, I just felt really like stiff and tight. Um, but as soon as I got moving and just like, I just continued to keep stretching, like going like this is just like the biggest relief ever. So like I just kept stretching heaps, rolling my shoulders. Um, and yeah, I just feel like the more I'm moving around to a point, I'm feeling better. So the more I'm sitting still and being restricted, I feel like my muscles are getting way more sore. But in the same breath, I'm not doing anything strenuous. Like I'm not lifting anything heavy. Um, I'm not doing anything like that. I'm not even opening the fridge doors and things like that. Although I am noticing that I can do a lot of things with my feet. This sounds so funny, but like opening the fridge door, I'll like use my foot or opening the front door, I'll use my feet. But I've always been that way. I've always like used my feet when I've got kids in my arms. So funny. But yeah, pain-wise, first day was not bad at all. I was just tired. I literally just came home and watched some telly and slept. Day one, I woke up and yeah, I was just feeling really tight. I started moving around. I went for a little walk around the house. Then we went to my post-op appointment and they said everything was healing great. Everything was looking good. On the way home, we even stopped in and went grocery shopping. I went down to the post office box to check all of my mail um, and like ran a few errands and I was totally fine to do that the next day, like 24 hours later. So yeah, I feel like I've had a really easy recovery. I feel like my surgeon, um, his technique probably made it a lot easier. He uses a funnel. So he like puts the implant in a funnel and like funnels it into your boob rather than like putting a hand all up and stretching everything and stuff like that. So maybe that's why I'm not too sure. But yeah, my recovery so far has been not too bad. So yeah, I took Panadine Fort is what they gave me. So I took that the first day. And then after my appointment on the first day, the nurse said to try to stop taking it if I can. Um, so then I stopped taking it. I only take it now at nighttime, not during the day. So I've just been taking Panadol now every four to six hours, just kind of when I feel like I need it. I feel like honestly now I could probably get away with not having Panadol. Today is day three and yeah, I'm feeling really good. I feel like I'm just gonna be on the up from here on out. I feel like my swelling has gone down heaps too compared to day one. I can't wait to see what my boobs look like at the end because I know the first few weeks they just change so much. Um, so I'm really excited to see the end result, what my boobs are actually gonna look like. I will show you guys at the end as well. I'll pop that same bikini top on and show you what they're looking like so far. They are still definitely swollen and they're quite bruised. Um, I've got some bruising on the sides and underneath, which I'll show you guys. Sleeping wise, I've been sleeping upright in a nursing chair, which has actually been really good. I think it's really important just to get your pillows comfortable before you go to sleep so you don't get like a bad neck or anything like that. Um, I went to go to sleep back in the bed last night and then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing because obviously it's working well. Um, so I am going to just continue to sleep in the nursing chair for probably another few nights. But yeah, I, otherwise, overall, guys, I'm feeling great. I'm pretty much feeling like myself, just tender and sore and know not to push myself and not lift heavy things and stuff like that. So just trying to take it easy. But yeah, surprisingly, I was expecting to be bedridden for like a week. And yeah, I just watched so many like horror stories, I think, that I was really worried about the aftermath, but it's definitely not been anywhere near as bad as I had expected, which is really nice. Just in case anyone is new watching this video as well, I'll quickly tell you guys um, all of my details. So I went teardrop shape, 375cc, under the muscle, textured, silicon, 
am I forgetting anything? Moderate Plus profile, and I am 160 centimeters tall. But I'll show you guys my boobs, and then I'll go pop a bikini top on and show you guys too. But this is how they're looking at the moment, so they're definitely not like crazy big or anything like that. Um, there has been a bit of bruising in here, which you guys can't really see on camera. Um, and there's also been, yeah, you guys can see that, bruising on the sides there. Just little bruises, actually not too bad on this side. Um, but yeah, I'll go pop the bikini top on and show you guys. This is like my first time trying a bikini top on. I'm excited. Okay, so here they are in a bikini top. So this is three days post-op. It's definitely still really swollen. So all this is yet to settle down and then the cleavage will kind of be formed. Whereas now because it's all swollen, there's not really any cleavage. Um, so that's what they're looking like. Side profile. My scars are looking pretty. Look away if you don't like seeing blood. Um, but my scars are like, oh, not too bad. That side. This side is the bad one. Yeah, it's just a bit bloody. So they're going to change those dressings next week at my appointment. But yeah, they're definitely still pretty hard. Very hard. I feel like even in a few more days, they're going to change a lot more. But I can't wait to see them all drop and everything like that. just thought I would pop on and do a quick little update for you guys. I'll do another one. I'm one week post-op, but all is going well. I'm recovering really well. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful messages and well wishes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.